Hello, Viego Mans. Today's video is going to be an absolutely exceptional must watch video because I am getting coached by the rank one Viego player in all of North America. He is a professional player. He has been ranked two on the entire North American ladder, and he is an absolute beast. The game that I'm going to play is a very good example of, you know, a lot of things that I do really well and a lot of things that I don't do very well. And he breaks them down in a way that I think will help every single Viego man that watches. So make sure that you guys leave a like on this video, watch all the way through, comment, and let me know what you think. Also, make sure you guys check out Perry Jungle because he makes some amazing content and he is a badass jungle player. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy this special video. Actually, maybe I'll wait till this game starts. But anyway, for this stream, uh, yeah. I'm pretty much, I'm Perry. I've been playing uh, professional like league for the last maybe two years now. I've been high low challenger for the last three years. Uh, pretty much towards the start of last year, I started playing Viego and I've enjoyed the champ. Um, Viego's always a popular competitive champion as well, so Viego kind of just stuck with me. And I've maintained rank 1 and 4 Viego at the same time while on my climb. Most most of my climbs to Challenger um, have been play, play, playing a lot of Viego. Um, and yeah, I'm just your average high-low jungler who likes Viego. Average high-low jungler is like a little bit selling yourself short, but... I mean, okay, okay, I'm gonna go, like, like, okay, you wanna, you wanna be honest? I'm kind of freaking good, yes, he's, like, he's kind of a beast, I, okay, yeah. not rank 1 good yet, though, rank 2, that's okay. my peak right now, 1900 LP, rank 2, yeah, I'm gonna let you play for the most part, I'm gonna give you some okay. commentary as you play, I'm gonna <laughs> give you the build on your first back, okay, no surprises, you're gonna buy Bork first item, okay, I, and then we okay. can discuss why after, but right. I promise you, it actually is more damage, um, and you'll see, you get, you get a feel. You, I know you've been building Kraken a lot, but you gotta feel what, how, what's the difference? What, what's the difference for? But especially yeah. this game, um, you see how they have Darius, Vi, and um, Maokai. <laughs> All three of them are gonna be building a lot of HP. Yep. Um, and when it comes to HP stackers, Bork actually does like significant more damage than Kraken. If there's five squishy, I think there is some argument where Kraken does deal more. Yep. But uh, we can get into the math more after this game. I want you to give me a like, thought process real quick. Like, where are you pathing towards? Like, um, what do you think? Um, I mean, so this is something that I uh, I come across a lot. Where like my bot lane, it's Kaiserel, so like their gank setup is pretty good. But my top laner has Ignite versus the Darius, so it's like they're gonna fight. So like, I kind of want to make the difference top. However, I feel like ganking bot is better here. Yeah, I I, I would say a bot gank is gonna. Do you yeah. well? Although, although, what's their top in Darius? Yeah, it's it's gonna be weird. I think, Minion I think Bathing Bot is a solid, solid oh. play. Oh, uh oh. Uh. Oh, oh, it's good. Okay, okay. I was, oh I was. Really... Yeah, I thought I DC'd, but he just killed me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just... Jesus Christ, that scared me. Yeah. What? What the heck? I was like, what? What's going uh, on? Yeah, I thought I DC. I thought my my computer crashed. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Hopefully no crashes. Hopefully well, no crashes. I start off with an adrenaline rush. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> So I I very much tend to full clear. Um, yep. I I in like previous seasons I like tried not to full clear every game, but like I feel like I just never have success when I don't full clear. So no, I would say full clearing is a solid bet on Diego. There's there's yep. nothing wrong with just go for full clears. <laughs> All right. Do you want me to like talk through what I'm thinking? You can if, if you're if you're used to it you can but I don't okay. I want you to kind of just play your game and then I, I just want to see see your gameplay for your gameplay. So. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I mean I I like look at my lanes early, but it's like yeah, I mean I'm just full clearing so. Yeah. That's what it is. That's pretty push, so probably gonna go for it after uh, the clear is over. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, 
both sworded, so... Yeah, that's a bit rough. I'm gonna try to just wrap around and maybe go for a scuttle and then look for the gank, but... Silas is moving. It's going to the stop side, okay. Just careful their bot's missing. We see him, we see him, you're good. Yeah. If I stop, I'm gonna wrap around here. Yep. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> it's good, just, yeah, just, take, just take your happy reset, yep. Alright, so Borg, so do I, do I get Vamp Scepter here, or...? No, no, go, go with the pickaxe, get the big pickaxe. pickaxe. And I'm not sure if you buy pink wards, but I would buy pink ward too. But you don't have to. It's not okay. like, I'll, right. I'll get it. I, okay, okay. I, you know, honestly, I agreed with not getting pink wards. But yeah, I, I normally just buy one pink ward off my first pack, maybe mm. two, and look what to just you, what do you like to place it safely. Like to place it safely? Yeah, just just like so you have some info for a mm -hmm. good while. Sounds good. Yeah, just, everything's looking good so far. Kind of sad your lanes are, uh... Yeah, not but you know what, this is perfect, perfect because this is just generally yeah. how it goes, so... Yeah, this is this is real jungling. <laughs> no. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna say don't start your camps with W. Start your camps with Q, then use your W as an auto attack reset. Like, that's what I recommend doing. I've, I've been seeing you, you start camps with W a lot. Try, try to use your W as auto reset. Yeah. Look at the mid condition for me. What's Arya's HP and shit? Okay. Pretty healthy. I, I, I would just continue full clearing here. Just jump. Yeah. Your mid is no control. And they're Cal Callista Flash earlier, so let's just try mm -hmm. to remember that the Callista has no flash, so we can try and punish her mm -hmm. um, at some point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as of right now, I feel like bot lane, playing around bot lane is really the only option, so. You can take a look at mid condition again. Nice, full HP. Level 6. Oh? Yeah, well, it's close. You could pick this bush here, even, yeah, and then just get some infos. It's good. You could walk into the stride bush here one time. I should be careful, but just try to see if there's a pink or something, some wards. Nope. Yeah. You can hit the squires into the jungle and then pull the dragon. You can pull it anyway, it's fine. Okay. You, you can you can just pull it in. Yeah, pop out, yeah. Yeah. There already has no ult. Okay, so on your next E cycle, don't don't use your E. You want, you want to save just in case they fight you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Free dragon. Yep, not bad. Nice recall, nice. Just ignore this guy. Just ignore this guy. Yeah, honestly, like what I would normally do is just immediately mute them. So. Yeah, just mute him. Just mute him. One thing I do I do want to see a little more from your POV is just ping. You got a ping where that's like the only way you can communicate to these guys. Yeah. They're they're monkeys, so you gotta. Yeah, I, ping a little I more generally aggressively. think that might be one of my worst traits is that I just like, I have chat off, so I already like don't communicate, and then my brain yeah. just like doesn't. Yeah, it's it's actually a skill that, that in the long run you're gonna wanna mm -hmm. get more used to, but I don't I don't blame you. Like early on, it's 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 hard. Yeah. <clears throat> Everything looks pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy in this game. So after yeah. Bork, we'll get there. But after Bork, yeah. I haven't seen you build a, a single time in your, in your match history. So we'll see it, how it, we'll see. Eclipse? No, no, that, not Eclipse. Never, never Eclipse. I, I've never recommend that. Yeah, this is good. You should ping here. This guy's ult. Nice. He has five stacks. Yeah. So yeah, there's nothing. Okay. Well, That's least... my ult. So you can ping ping by R and then just try to think about. You have two minutes. Vi no ult. So yeah, if you Vi, take a fight boomer. Vi is rotating down. I could potentially. Yeah. Actually, match her, yeah, not bad. Oh wow. Ah, damn. Nice, you see Vi here, Vi is an ult again, you have ulti advantage. You could fight her, yeah. It's not a bad fight. You can, you can keep going, you can keep going. You, you, you can win here. You win hard. Not even close, nice. You can keep fighting here, you can keep fighting with this guy, yeah. Try to use your flash to connect to this guy. Yeah, yeah, great, 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 okay. You can even kill this guy now, you, you know your champ, you know your champ. Good, well fight. Well done. Well done. All right, so I want you to think about this dragon coming up. Though you've you've, you've secured your game. Let's keep thinking about these objectives. Make make your life really easy. Get these objectives. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
So is it worth to just back here and get the vamp or just full clear? No, no, you, you, you can full clear, get your Borg, and then yeah. unless there was an objective coming up, like right now, you'd mm -hmm. full clear and spend this gold. But since there's no objective, you have time to do this. What I would recommend is that this is where you spam ping your team. If yeah. anyone's playing like a psycho, that's that's what you do. You right. look at your lanes. If someone's playing like an idiot, you ping the shit out of them. Alright, I'll ping my Bork and then... Yep, oh, that's no. exactly what I'm doing like the entire game. Yeah, okay. yeah, just like pinging them, pinging my Bork, letting everyone know what the hell's going on. Sounds good. And this is how you prevent sometimes your teammates from dying. Not mm. always, always, but you can help your teammates. Yep. Yeah, so I want you to. Ch I, I know you have muscle memory to just dub start with W. Yeah. Auto auto W auto. It's just it's actually gonna save you. Yeah, I always. Seconds in the I long always run. do it on Raptors. I need to like break that. Yeah. All, all, uh, always start start your camp with uh with Q and then auto W auto. You get the auto reset. It's actually way more valuable than mm -hmm. pulling the camp because you also stun the camp. So it's not even like the camp walks to you. So you're yeah. not even leashing. You're not even aggroing the camp. Yeah, you're that's right. the that's <laughs> the worst part. Uh. My board. Okay, our next item is going to be Sunder Sky. Okay. Bork it's gonna be very... Sunder Sky. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yeah, you're gonna be really tanky, and, and what I normally buy third item, I would just close it mm -hmm. out. It's always gonna be Sterax, Maw, Wits End, Randuins, yeah. um, Titanic even. Though yeah. That's always my go to um, next items. Yeah, so you hold tab. Okay, we have Dragon, Grubs. Um, yeah, I mean, so I'm, I'm super strong, items. so like. Do I, I mean, I pretty much am just thinking I want to like force grubs here. Yeah, you want to fight grubs for sure. So, and, and what you want to do is you want to try and work with the laner to try and fight the grubs. So whoever mm -hmm. you think you can um, work with is, is what you want to do here. Yeah. You can go sweep <laughs> down through the bot river. So ping, ping these grubs, make it really clear. Look outside, it's walking bot side, like ping him, ping him to come. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make make sure this guy knows. There you go, there you go. He's on the wrong side of the map. Yep. Make it really clear to this guy. <clears throat> okay, this this top lane's fighting, yeah, let, let's go join him. Might be a little hard. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Fight together here, you can ball together. Really nice, really nice. Nice. You can go more. That's enough, that's enough. You, you can just chunk this guy and then you can- Oh, no, you can just kill him. Nice. Oh. oh! Okay, you're good. You're good, you're good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, rem remember our goal though, okay? We remember our yeah, goal yeah. is to get the grubs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the reason why- like, You have to kill, like, that's- like You, you and you, you and Renekton know the damage, but even if you don't kill that guy, your goal is to get the grubs. Okay, it, there's, there's a good chance in solo queue, like... It, that kill doesn't matter, pretty much, is what, is what I want mm -hmm. you to try and get the habit of understanding. What you want to get the grubs as fast as you can. Why? Because dragons are coming up next as well. So everything was right. good though. Just just keep thinking about how to play for these grubs, how to play for this dragon, and your life is good. Yeah, I also <laughs> didn't see now Kai and Ari coming up, so. Yeah, yeah, they're coming up, they're coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Take a recall here. I'd buy a, a ruby and a cloth here. <clears throat> oh, cloth. You, can, like, get, you can get tabby fast here, for sure. Yeah, I would go. I would have gone merch as this game if. Uh, if oh really? Here, honestly, yeah, because of Ari and Maokai. Oh. But <laughs> the the reason why I don't care about their CC is because I'm going Sterex third, which gives you tenacity. Yeah. Or Wits End even. So I don't actually care about my Mercs early. That's my reasoning. At least you you get tenacity from your mm -hmm. third item anyway. So check in the dragon and look like someone pulled that. Like look at it. Yeah, oh, yeah they're, they're on it. Right. Yeah, they're they're on. So you can try and fight it slowly afterwards, like with Relic, ping, ping your ping your laner, ping them to come, ping them to come, yeah, ping them to go. Tell them to go for you. The Callisto's really low too. Nice, well played. You're really free. You can just go this guy, remember our goal is always the drag. Oh, yeah, okay, sorry. Good, well played. Nice. So yeah, definitely, definitely something you got you gotta really look into is you're, you're not picking these guys. These guys, like, you do not yeah. know when to go in, when to not go in. Also, and, do you get in the habit yeah. of committing too hard to fight stuff, like once they start going yep. well? Yeah, when they go well, you gotta remember the goal is the objective, that's how you cleanly win solo queue games. You're playing good though, yep. you're playing good, everything looks good. Thank you. <laughs> you can just clear all your topside camps and then think about the next thing, which is probably gonna be Herald. So you just clear as fast as you can and then yep. go to that Herald 14 minutes. Yeah, there you go, yep. ping your teammates, exactly. I know, I know I'm gonna say it every time, but try to remember to try to queue first, 
Oh, look yeah, at the door. It, it is, it's gonna, that's gonna take it, me some time. It's gonna take a while though. It took me yeah. a long time to, to stop it too, don't get me wrong. Again, okay, here, just for future reference, you're gonna wanna clear your, um, your Gromp first yeah, before Gromp first. Yeah, yeah, Gromp before Blue. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like sometimes I do that if I, but I have to like actively think about it because like naturally yeah. I just wanna like go to Blue. And you wanna first. recall right away, right away. You don't care about anything, you wanna spend that gold. Okay. Yeah. This is, we're just playing through tempo, through objectives, very simple structure of everything. Mm. Not overcomplicating it, anything. Great. And then again, you can make it really clear to your t to your teammates, like, hey, you want this? Yeah. It's okay. He does, but... Does he have TP or anything? No, he has Ignite, so... It's alright. Glyph's also back. I don't know what map yep. I used, but... You can try and fight the Darius first as well. Maybe this guy wants to hit it with you. Okay, let's see. So, Not yeah. bad. Vi's bot lane. Vi's yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can maybe look at this guy. He's a bit far. Maybe get his ghost. Yeah, maybe get his ghost. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, I want to invade. Bye. Yeah, you can you can pressure. I mean, look at Kaisa's HP though. So just keep in mind, you don't necessarily have to go too crazy here. You can go help yeah. them though. Yeah. This, this, since Silas is here, it's not bad. Okay. Maybe kill Maoka here. Nice. Careful, careful, careful. You don't want to die. Get all your camps up. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> yeah, Let's you're happy. You, you you help. You broke mid outs. You have your camp side. You have your bot side up. This looks, this looks fightable, no W on her. Let's try it. It's my W. Yeah, I'll go this guy path poorly. Go for the bot crab real quick. Don't, don't, yeah, go for the bot crab, it's up. <clears throat> Alright, so I did. I, I, I want you to recall right here. I, I, I want you to do this, to clear this one and instant recall. The reason why is Silas is coming off base. It's just, you can just buy the coffee house and then pink ward. So this is coming off base, and you want to play for the spot turrets, and you mm -hmm. can do your bot camps from here. So pretty much you want to connect with their Silas, who's very strong right now, yep. and match him. Otherwise, otherwise you'd be stuck doing your camps, and then you want to recall afterwards, which is like desynced. So I want you to do two camps, and then look yeah, to fight with Silas. I would have, I would have. You, you can even die this guy here. Yeah, and it's not like it's a bad thing to do necessarily, mm -hmm. but like you and Silas can like you can even invade this fight here. You, you don't have to be doing your own camps. You see how his Gromp is untouched. Yeah, yeah you could like be with him. You're a bit you're a bit late, but you could be with him there. Yeah. Right, and now you're Vi pressuring Vi the map top. while Vi's top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can you don't don't use Herald, don't use Herald, don't use Herald. You just take his take your bot camps. If you want to Herald, Herald mid turret. Um yeah. that's that's what we're gonna always be using Herald on is just mid turrets. But now you're gonna punish her bot side camps, you can even look for wolves. And then um Silas can try and hit this bot turret. No, wolves are not up. Oh. You can go behind these guys, not bad. Okay, you can go back to camps now. That's that's fine. You can help them get vision. This is good. And I want to reset before. Yeah, yeah now you now you can get your item. That's fine. Yeah, and then the the, the unfortunately your size didn't break the bot turret, but I don't. He's not hitting that bot turret. I don't know why. But pretty much if you if you try and communicate that hey that's the turret you want, you can mm -hmm. spam ping your laner even more, and it'd be yeah a bit of a better picture. He's just doing wonders, right? Because you you guys have full control of his bot side now, pretty much. Mm -hmm. so you see how that pink ward is safe for him. Yep. All that vision he got for himself. Like you've given him opportunity to do this. If you didn't do this and we were farming your own camps, he can't play as aggressive. Or if he's doing it, it's a coin flip for him. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, see, this guy's is going crazy. But that's something where, again, if you're if you're really if you're really zoned in, this game you want to win, you'd be spamping Kaiser yeah. here to be careful. Like, that, that's what pinging does. That's, that's the difference. Oh, difference this, is, this is where I just complain about them. Yeah, no, and that's fair, but like honestly, what you what your part is ping this idiot. That's yeah. what you can do. And I, I would say, be a little careful here, but... Uh, they're, they're fighting back, so you're, you're Yeah, yeah, you, you can you can go, it's not bad. Your size is really strong. It's not bad. You can kill whoever, just the front line is fine, yeah. Nice. And I want you to, you can rift, you can look to fight, you can look to rift mid after as well. It's a bit deep. Get this kill and chill. You don't want to die at all. Yeah, just leave. Yeah, yeah I want to herald you're, this. No, 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 you, you want to just recall again. Just You want to just get HP again. Like, like literally just, yep. you, you made a play, you can just instant recall. I mean, he might get stunned here, oh, careful. You, 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 
your teammates kind of griefed, and that's okay. Um, and then I'm going Sterics. Yeah, you want to you want to go Sterics now. Um, so pretty much here, they're gonna be going for the dragon. You can go straight mm -hmm. to mid lane. You can also herald uh, mid turrets while they're doing this, or just do your camps as well. Like this, this dragon is fine. Like I said, stop lane. No one, no one has good condition to fight this. Just do your camps. Yep. Like it's completely chill. And then ping your herald. I want to know how long, how much longer you have on this herald. Forty seconds. Right? Yeah, forty seconds. Right. So you can ping your teammates to come mid lane. See if I hasn't recalled. Ari hasn't recalled. You can tell everyone to come. And you can run down mid with herald. You can even just summon it now and just drop it and just ride it. I, I would just write it. I would just write it in. This turret's gonna be one shot. I know, I know, Rails. Careful, it should be fine though. And then just fight, fight with your team after. Yeah, this looks not bad. Oh. Yeah, we lived. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, your teammates are a bit pussy, but uh. <laughs> they are. Uh, really uh, uh, they all have ults and shit. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's fine. That's fine. That makes sense. <laughs> Um, they're a bit scared. E even like right now, they want to yeah. go in while you're not there. But um, it was a bit of an aggressive call, nonetheless. But um, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You, they, you, they you, you survived. You got it. No, um, you got it. You got it. Yeah, that's fine. I would say again, like if you're doing this, you gotta pin your teammates. Just be careful. Yeah, be good, good, good. This is fine. You're getting, you're gonna get yourself a top turret. This is good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're, you're, everyone is kind of, it's sad, okay. I, I would actually just recall here as well. I yeah. mean, you, you don't necessarily, like, at this point in the game, doing your extra gromp or doing extra, like, one extra camp does not change anything. What changes is if you have setup on the map and if you're, like, connected with your teammates to look for picks. Yeah, that makes sense. That's what matters more than these one or two camp difference. So, I mean, are we looking to set up Baron or like get picks on? Yeah, I mean, I mean, right now you can get picks and then you can look to to break turrets as well. Like if you if you're mm -hmm. if they're not able to do Baron, that's really important because they have Callista, so we got to make sure that they're not on this Baron. Um, as well, so your your two priorities are breaking turrets, breaking mid turret, breaking bot turret, and preventing them from doing Baron. That's like your that's your idea right now. Gotcha. And taking control of the bot, bot, bot side, so you can like sweep through and and, and like just make sure that there's, there's they just have less vision, they have less control. That's good. Control to them. Yep. It's fine. Silas is getting bot turret, which is great. You can wait for Silas to come mid lane after he gets that wave. So there's there's nothing to do here right now. You can just literally AFK do your camps, and you're really happy. These guys are playing aggressive on this mid right. Yeah, mid turret. So maybe you can come help them a little bit. Yeah, just fight the- just- yeah, just careful, just careful. Careful, you're- you're, you're down hella numbers, yeah, yeah. Just walk away. Ah, I should yeah. the charm. Oh good, yeah, you got- you got the charm there. All good, all good, okay. They <laughs> sent a lot of people. <clears throat> okay. Um, the game is still fine. You're- yep. Still in a great position. This guy's yeah. doing some things. I feel like, uh... I feel like I wanna, like... Getting them to like force fights at this point, cause yeah, you could you could try playing macro, but yeah, honestly, like if they like the, the, the oh, wow. you guys need to start fights when you're on the same. Okay, nice, you got yeah. one. <laughs> when you guys so are like many. together and you have numbers, um, Renekton can't go top there pretty much is the problem. But otherwise, uh, everything so far is like like you guys are fine. You guys are broke water even as you even though you guys died, mm -hmm. it's like fine. Which what, what you can do here is when Renekton's alive, you can spam ping mid turret and you can like tell them we gotta play for mid turret. Um, but yeah, if you want to force a fight, like force a fight on a side, may maybe a, a, an objective, um, like one of these turrets, and you can you can try and get them to fight them. Sauce isn't here, which is the problem, but looks like <clears throat> here Kaiser can hit this turret. If you're with her, yeah. And she flashed. Nice. Nice. Let's 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 like, try and track that. 2245. You can think about her flash. Darius, this is good. Okay, we got his 
flash. That's again, that's their top laner's flash too, right? So we gotta, tr yep. yeah, just keep keep trying to process it that as much as you can. Flash. That's just pop mid. You can actually fight this, I think. Yeah. Play it slow. Just slowly, yeah. Yeah. Gotta cancel. Oh my god, I wasn't ready for that. Let's play together, should be okay. It's okay, you can hit the front together here. You, you'll get a reset here, nice. Oh. All good. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I thought we were winning that a little bit harder than, uh, than we were. Hold tab, I want you to look at Malkai's items real quick. Yeah, okay. Um, he just Malka doesn't Malka's really not that tanky as as it seems, and also yeah. um yeah, so you're um, like mostly killed by Ari anyway. Yeah. Um, or uh, the best way for me to to give, keep giving you more advice is just focus on like after you get one kill or two kills, even one is fine. Yeah. Like, even a chunk, the the dragon's up there. You you can yeah, just go to the dragon. On the dragon now. Yeah, focus on those objectives. It makes your game way easier. You don't have to fo hard focus on hard winning fights. Like, get that yeah. one pick. Okay. Go for the objective. Yeah. yeah, I've got we, we've got uh, we've got ults here. Ares has no flash. Ares has no flash. Cliss has no flash. Yep, you guys can definitely make a play together here. Try and get that ASAP. You need to find your team. Yeah, this is fine. This is good. This guy's setting the fight. You can just kill the front line here. You can just okay, that's that's good too. Nice, nice, nice. Be careful though. Yeah. Played. Nice. All right, nice. I'd put that a bit differently. Uh, we we can look at that after. Okay. But I, I, I think you, I think you did that. I think you did it well. I I, I, I see the angles now. Uh, so yeah, you want to go Sterex here? Can you hold tab again? Yeah. Uh, is it a what's end angle? Yeah, what's what's is fine here? Yeah. Actually, actually, if, uh, I I go Kanek here actually. Okay. Like, do, just do, like, you, do you lean towards like a just a full tank item? Well, over damage we, we, at like this point? my idea of Viego is like, I don't know I don't know if you have a different opinion. I don't I know a lot of people have like think Viego is an assassin or like a one shot yeah. champion, but like the way I see Viego is like like in a team fight you're gonna get a reset, right? Like realistically, mm -hmm. the squishier you are, the faster you die. The faster you die, like the less chance you have to get resets. I feel yeah. like in a lot of these fights because you're so HP, like you're so tanky, like you've just gotten hit by like a million spells and you just don't die. Like unironically, mm. because you have Sunder Sky, you have you have just like a bunch of HP. That's the way I see Viego. It just makes it easier to play. I mm. think going more DPS means you have to play like perfectly. If you get hit by one charm, you're dead. But right now, look at your HP. You get hit by one charm, who cares? Yeah. Imagine you have Terminus, Trinity Force, Kraken. One charm, you're dead. Bye bye. So the way I see Viego is you're playing like really short trades and fights. You're playing very slowly, and then if they make a mistake, you punish them really, really hard. You're still doing a lot of damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, this is my yeah, idea. I, mean, of I, how I feel like I feel like Viego is like you play like an assassin, but you, you don't have to build like full damage. Is yeah. kind of how it feels. Definitely, I definitely don't think you, you can look for his red buff here for sure. Oh, this still fucking hurts. Yeah, that, that's quite painful. Uh oh, careful. Okay, you got Sterex. Yeah. Well, I did, uh, did survive, at least. Yeah. <laughs> how the fuck you survive? How the fuck you survive all their ult and everything? Well, yeah, it's because you're built. Uh, like, immediately oh, immediately paid build. off. Right. Yeah. I mean, the the main takeaway is, like, why are you there in the flick? You're, you're pathing, you're positioning, yeah. you're there ult as well. Like, that's, like, the main takeaway. You're not really playing your yeah, champion too well. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, uh, sometimes, like, it's okay to mess up mechanically when you mm. have items where you just... You're just tanky. Like, yeah. uh, that, like and you're still gonna be useful. You're like, you ran away at like maybe 30, 40 percent HP, where you could have kept fighting there. Like, unironically, mm -hmm. you could have went back in. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely take a look at that in more fights. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, hopefully that felt good not dying. <laughs> it did. I was for I for sure thought I did. Well, I mean, yeah. I did, but kind of. Uh, so. Okay, try to communicate to your team. You guys want to play for this? Yeah. Good. 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 
try to try to ping for the the turrets here if anything. And then hold tab check for um objectives as well. One minute thirty, okay. Mm. Yeah, this probably doesn't look much. Let's see if there's a little bit of inting. He's doing inting. This is bad. Yeah. Yeah, that there that there is just too stacked. I'd get the hell out of here. Yeah, that. Good. Stirrex again. <clears throat> yeah. That was oh, good, a oh, good. bit of that an was ambitious just a bit, play. Bit too deep from your teammates, yep. Yeah. Yeah. This game could have been a good a Black Cleaver game as well, but I wanted something more. You do you like Black Cleaver after the change? Yeah, I think it's good. Especially against, again, a lot of these guys are building like Frozen Heart and just yeah. the key items. Uh -oh. oh wow. I actually went for that. Oh, I thought I would be able to kill the mech. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Not a that is such a beast. A tragedy. Yeah, I, I think what's what's happening here is you you definitely like don't know the limits to this build, which which makes sense. Right? You, you, this is like first time kind of thing for in a while, I'm guessing. Yep. So um. Yeah, I think one one thing to, to you, you, it's gonna be kind of weird to, to play it like this, but um, yep. you're a bit more of a frontliner, so just hit their frontline. Like, I don't know if they just procs under the sky two three times against their Maokai, Darius, and Vi, and they won't kill you. They they, they can't kill you. I think you're like, afraid of them killing you. They can't kill you. And yep. if they try to kill you, then your Silas or a Nectin or Kaisa, they're going to deal way more damage back to them. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm realizing in these uh, in these fights that I'm like I'm a little unsure on like uh, the the strength of it. Yeah, yeah, I know. It makes makes sense. Like, don't don't worry. It makes sense. Yeah, I mean, I think we're still strong enough to to like force Baron if we um if we fight it. Yeah, I definitely think. That is doable. Although I think you have your item here as well, so you can chill. And you can buy, you can buy your item and then buy um. Pink ward. Pink ward. Yeah. Could help you control the objective. Yep. Try to ping these guys. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. So you're good. You're, you're pretty much your your goal is not, like actually like. Only if there's really easy angles to kill their backline or kill the squishies. Your your goal is to like just hit the front line, hit whoever your teammates are hitting. Like this is like. Okay. Um. What your build does best, just just hit with your teammates. Hit the front with your teammates. Oh, careful, your your kite is in base. I would just try and tell them to be careful. Yeah. And all right, kite is here. You guys can play a little. That is not great. Make the Clista, yeah. Jeez. That nah, so that's. They, they have a lot of CC in here, so your side is kind of alternate and kill themselves. But uh, we, yeah. we, like, regardless of the win or loss, we have a lot to look at, and I think yep. you can kind of be the one deciding whether you like this build or not, but this is definitely, like, I have never enjoyed building um, full assassin. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think there's just, there's just too much risk involved. Um, but obviously it's going to take some time getting used to this if you to want to build like this. Yeah. Um, yeah, what do you think? How'd you feel? <clears throat> I felt good. I mean, I feel like I definitely misplayed some fights. Um, also, I also feel like I could, I could have like in the top play where we dove and like lost a lot. I feel like I definitely could have pinged them off it because should not we should have dove anyway. But I think it was like I think it was overall a good game. I it was like probably a more like standard game to how things normally go. So. Yeah, because I mean, normally I build Kraken, Triforce, Thunder Sky, uh, or like either that or like what's under something. Yeah. And I don't feel like too squishy, but I mean, obviously I don't feel as tanky as I do with that build. 
Um, yeah, I think the only time where I'm really going hyper DPS, like the build you you said, is when like mm -hmm. I don't have. I have like three tanks. So for example, I have like Orn top, Kasante mid, and like Senna TK Ballin. You know, something where it's just like I have to be the one dealing damage. Um, but yeah, I, th I think realistically it's a preference thing, and I think um, like I've seen Eclipse work. I've seen mm -hmm. you know Kraken work for everyone, and it's just like it really like I, I think the biggest takeaway overall is I think Bork is a stronger item than Kraken when they change Kraken from dealing true damage. Um, now that Kraken doesn't do true damage, Bork just is a overall stronger item with like, pairing with Viego's passive. Um, mm -hmm. And then um, just building tanky instead of going for um, more damage is, I think, it just Wait, makes average... What do you think average... to like, the difference in, like, in win rate and play rate with uh, Kraken and Bork? I think there's... I think, like, um, if we check the analytics, I think the different regions unironically have different win rates. So I think NA has this idea that Bork is worse. And I swear, you, when you play with the idea that this item is worse, you just play worse. I, most of my time, like, if I'm building Bork and I'm like, yeah, man, Bork is great, like, I don't feel a difference. You know, I, I don't feel like it's actually mm. worse or anything. And, and I just, you know, the math checks out. Um, so I would say... Like it's the like, Kraken's a feels good item, but like it's actually like uh the same or more damage to go Bork. Um, the stats guy on my team like ran the numbers. Like I'm asking him to try and get it because I want to make a video on that as well. Yeah. Um, but he said Bork checks out, so uh, I'm trusting him as well. And when when I made it, when I made my videos a while back, I also yeah tested Bork versus Kraken, and it. I mean, it did is feel... is there like any difference in like the fact that it's more expensive or like, I guess like the components are. More nice for Kraken. um yeah so noon quiver was like the idea is noon quiver is worth more than um <laughs> you know pickaxe longsword but like if you yeah. try like to do the clear just like gromp wolves like raptors and whatnot or you just try and practice them I mean, it's, it's actually the exact same damage i know people like overhype it like yeah man, like 1300 gold noon quiver like look at the passive it does so much more like it's yeah. actually not that much more damage for like what people think it is um, the 200 extra gold that Bork, like, the cost of it just means you have to kind of shift the way you play, mm -hmm. but in, in reality, like, 600 gold on a crit cloak, if you ever have that for Kraken Slayer, is, like, a just really bad item in general. It's just a really yeah. bad stat for the most part, so I would say it kind of evens out in the sense of, like, you play for an item that costs extra 200 gold, but you get an accumulative damage like, as the game progresses, like, maybe, like, right at the start of the game, first item versus first item um i could argue that yeah kraken does more if they have less hp but mm -hmm. like they're going to level up they're going to get more hp they're going to buy hp items their tanks are going to get stronger and bork just does more damage against tankier champs like i, I feel like that at least should be understood that bork does more damage against champions that have hp like at the very least like that should be your takeaway mm -hmm. um so if they ever have two three um tanky champs that build hp you're going to want to build bork for sure and yeah, let me know when you when it, when you hop in if it's all working. Yeah, I'm in. Cool. All right. So, the few notes I have here, I'll I'll, I'll just put them over here. We can just discuss them. Um. So the first note I have is, um, right here. It's something small, but it does it does like add up. Um. Here, your auto attack kills this, right? And then your your pet pretty much does 25, 25. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't finish the camp with W ever, and e even if I'm trying to secure the camp. You can just auto auto attack this camp. It's a small thing, but I would just like say like you not having your W to start off this camp just like sort of feels um, bad. It's just like time lost. You lost like you like you'd be able to Q auto W like right away, but you, you lost two seconds. It's it's a small thing. It's not too big okay. to worry about. And then here um, you pull the camp with your W. Um, I know I, it's 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 muscle memory. I, everyone mm -hmm. does this, but yeah. um, you, you see like. It, it's stunned. So it, it literally mm -hmm. doesn't even get pulled to you, which is why, like, you just start it with Q and then auto W auto. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is a... I think this is a... um a small thing that I like to adjust, but um, I like smiting the red buff mm -hmm. if I'm going to use my smite at all. And the reason why is I want to... I, actually, it, it's probably the same speed but um, I want to get to my Krugs faster. I don't really know. I just feel like it's right to smite this. I'm not 100% yeah. sure why. But um, that's what I do in all my clears. 
it's just it's just a note that I, that's what I do. I actually don't know what the the math checks out if if smiting the Krugs or the red buff is faster, but it makes sense. You, you definitely yeah. use two smites to finish I go, a game. I go like, like the, back and forth on like yeah. I, I don't know which one. Not. Yeah, I don't know which one's better. This is good. You dodge the vision, um, and then you um. So one thing to note here is you don't know where Vi is just yet. So mm -hmm. you see how you push the crab into the like into their side. You want to be yep. pushing the crab down. It's just like just principle pushing the crab to the right angle is super important. So whether you're pushing it up here as well, because up here is where you have like some mid control, like it matters, like because these guys can technically shift faster if Vi is here, right? Mm -hmm. So I would want to um, pull the or push the grubs, sorry, push the scuttle crab further um, away um, from them. So I like to me, I'd push the crab here. Okay. But like definitely, definitely, definitely don't push the crab into their side. That's like the rule number yeah, one. Make, don't don't sense, put it yeah. into their side. Okay, so here, <laughs> this is great. Um, we get um, a flash. Um, and what happens here is you got the flash and you're happy. So that's mm -hmm. going back in and like doing all the shenanigans. It's just a waste of time. It's two seconds, yeah. but the, the two seconds matters in the grand scheme of things. Um, just instant recall. The, the, you, you got what you came here for. That if you, let's say you land the W or Q, like it doesn't really change anything. Yeah. Right, not like, not it, taking it, it, like recalls faster is something I definitely have a problem with for sure. Yeah, you got you gotta like, like that's what playing for tempo is, and that's like how you out jungle worse junglers by making sure you're on point with fast recalls. Um, and then here's here 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 it is again where you you pull the camp with um, W, right? and yeah. it, is, it it is just faster to Q. Uh, if you're low like you did later on in the game where you're low HP, you and you want to just W it to to survive, like that's yeah. that's like makes sense, like that's good. Uh, but otherwise, auto W auto is always going to be faster. Um, okay, so everything here looked great. You clear the sword, use that pink ward, felt good. Um, so this is my take on objectives, dragon or herald. Unless I know I'm uncontested. So let's mm -hmm. say Vi showed top lane, Vi showed mid lane, Vi showed somewhere, low HP, they're just bad conditions or anything. Um, yeah. I would never use my E on the dragon. So you, you'll see it later on when you use your E on the herald again. Um, yeah. I would never use my E. Like it's like it's like as if you're playing Diana, Hecarim, Belveth, and you're using those like E abilities mm -hmm. on the objective. It just like doesn't make sense because there could be a fight coming up, and you don't want to risk that. It's like really yeah. scary if Vile all of a sudden comes here, Ari comes, and yeah. Um, otherwise, everything looks really good. We're happy. We're clearing camps. Um, so here we see this top stuff happening, and um, you E here, and you charge your W from back here. Um, it's a small thing, but it does matter. Um, so right now, you see how you e here, and so so right here is like like this. Their fog of war is like here. Yeah. Right. Like like they can barely see. You see how like your E is up here while your character is over here. Um, they have more time to react to where you actually are, which in this case, I don't think it matters anyway. Like, this guy's just going to walk away. They're going to walk away regardless. But, like, either don't use your E or use it, like, as late as you can because the faster you get to here doesn't actually change anything. The reason why I would E all the way down here like you did is if I need to get to this ASAP, like, this guy is either dead already or... I'm going to dive him. They're gonna dive him in exactly, and then you wanna you wanna have a fog surprise exactly. Yeah. Right? Like like these, you probably this showing here probably made them feel like oh, I have to leave. Them. back out, yeah. Yeah. So you, you it's pretty much these small things that do add up to them potentially actually killing themselves here, and you getting either a kill or two kills, obviously. Yeah. Um, I mean, honestly, here... I think my logic there was just like, um, I just wanted them to get scared off, so I like get scared off. Yeah. yeah. Save him. Say like, I want to save this guy, but yeah, like. If I'm if I'm ever seeing this, the guy is like already O2, he's just in thing. Like, just go die for me if I can get these two kills. Okay. Like, I'm really uh, yeah, open like to that. this guy like just dying. Like, like <sighs> all my teammates are just like, if I can get something from you dying, you're doing something stupid, and like I, I will get something from it. Like, I don't care. As long yeah. as I can carry the game later, I'm I'm confident. Um. So yeah, let this guy die. Who cares? Let it, let them dive him, and you know maybe he gets upset, but he's not gonna get upset if you carry the game. Like that's like tr like truth truth be told, if you play a good game, he has nothing to be upset about. Okay. And you can always just mute him. You're not a bad, not not. It's not it's not hard to mute him. Um, so here, I didn't write my notes, but um, I, I just saw this. I, I remember it now. Um, so this is this is like um, um, you 
eat the wrong. Well, you eat. You, I don't think you eat is b- bad timing, but um, you need to wait for your E before you cast it because you don't want your E to be connected to this wall. It actually would have made such a big difference if your E is connected to this wall. Yeah. And it really matters. It actually really, really matters. Like, you're still able to get your E um, attack speed here and everything, but, like, imagine you have... Um, like, imagine this Vi just like, starts running, right? Or, like, starts running either mm-hmm. way, and, like, like now, like, you, you don't get your E move speed. You don't get your E move speed, you don't get your E attack speed. It just, like, it can turn into something... Yeah. I, mean, I think it was more like I, I kind of like accidentally hit it on that wall. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I no, was I kind of throw it yeah. at her. But, 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 but even then, like, don't throw it just in the river, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if you're throwing it only at her, that's also a mistake. Yeah. Right. You want to, you want to almost always throw it at a wall, like almost always, like 99% of the time. Like, I'm, I'm almost never throwing it. Like, at least if you're in the jungle, I'm almost never just throwing it out. If you're in a lane, like top lane or mid lane or bot lane, then yeah, you can throw it in the lane. But normally, I'm never throwing my, my fog. And I'm not hitting a wall. Like it's really easy to hit a wall. Yeah. Um. This was great. This was really good. Well done by you and everything. You hit him the right way. You see. Oh shit. Reset. Um. You hit your E the right way and everything. But the one thing you missed here is is you overkilled him. Um. You used your ults. You use your na- last ultimate when this guy has no means of living. Um. So you'll see in a sec here. Um. And it matters, right? Like like why would you use your second ult here when this guy's like clearly dead? Yeah, just to try to chaos, but... <laughs> yeah, just to try to chaos, but why? Like, now now you don't have a, a spell for two minutes, and it's just like, why? Right, like, it, it doesn't really... Yeah. Like, if you're later from your, your item by 300 gold, like, so what? Now at least you have tools to fight the next time, but versus now, like, you don't want to fight at all. Like, it's like, it doesn't really matter in, in, in this scenario, but this can bite your ass in other games, right? Like, in this case, it doesn't, doesn't matter. But in other games, using your ult like that can really mean a lot. It, it, can, it can mean a lot, for sure. Yeah, makes um, sense. And then, again, I'll show it, but it's something you're just going to have to get used to. Don't pull with your W. Um, but, yeah. Um, okay, so here, this is um, the same thing, actually, Mr. where Riley. you... Riley. You, um, you see top fighting, and you use your E, but, like, now they know way faster, and now you mm-hmm. can't like threaten. Okay, wow, it's like bugged. Um, you can't like threaten using your E on the other walls. Like you can't threaten using it on that wall or the, or the wall above, mm-hmm. which would like mean like you can actually potentially chase them. Like, you can E this way, and if you have your E to use on this wall, and we're trying to turn back in because you technically could, you just don't have that option anymore. You don't you don't have that extra move speed that you would get. And plus, you're telling them you're here faster than your character actually is, which like matters. Like yeah. you want to let them know as as like late as possible. And also, your E is already, well, it's not that far used, but, like, it's already, like, almost a quarter used. Like, it's just, like, it, these things add up. Um, and you've done this a few times now, where, man, I wish it didn't skip 10 seconds. So you've done this a few times now, where you start with W, like, right away. Like, that's, like, your almost instant way of fighting every fight, is, like, yeah. you're Wing, but look at how far you're charging W. They're, like, so far away right now. At least go to here, then charge W. Yeah. So you'll see this in later on fights, where you're charging W like a whole mile away, where you're slow, you're the 20-30% slow on your W when you cast it. It just means you're never going to get value from your W, and now when the fight actually could break out, you don't have your W. And another big thing that maybe, I think I think shows up one more time, if you smite this guy here, you actually could land your W. Let, 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 me, let me show you again. If you, if you smite this guy right here, as you cast your W, because I think it breaks you off your W if you smite, but if you W smite this guy, you could actually probably land that. It's, like, really tight, but, like, you potentially yeah. could have landed that. You, so you need to start using your smites more actively to... Uh, actually, does this one slow? Does it even slow? Anymore? I swear it slows. It, it does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just tripped out for a sec. But, like, yeah, you, you want to start calming your, your, your W with um, some more CC. Um, so, here, this pays off in this situation. But I'll show you later on where, like, this actually, like, ruined your game. Like, you lost because you did the exact same situation here, but in a, in a different, like, in a different scenario. In a different fight, yeah. And, yeah, like, like, you need to stop going for these kills and then going for more. That would, that's what differentiates a super high elo jungler from an average jungler. To know when to actually go... Or to know when it's just like, it just doesn't matter. Whether you get this kill or not, it literally does not change the game. Whether you're up 
an extra kill, it, it does not matter. What matters is like you get these scrubs as fast as you can, so you can get the dragon as fast as you can, so you can do other things, other neutral objectives on the map. Um, and also, um, awareness of hey, like they're they're like if your size is able to come to this fight, yeah. that means their Ari could be able to come. So like just like the awareness of all that is important because you, um, yeah, yeah, you kind of like use your W and everything and face check and everything. So yeah. yeah Otherwise, yeah. everything here looks fine. So here is it's not not too big of a thing, but um, uh, my my go to recall here is just it's literally just gonna be these two items. Again, like I know it's not damage, but in my head, I deal more damage by being healthier. Because my champion is not meant to do, like, I'm not meant to do majority of the damage anyway. I'm meant to be healthy enough, have good enough conditions to play for resets and combo with my teammates. Like, that's the way I see Viego. Like, I'm never trying to take 1v1s, not really. And even if I am, having more stats, like, having more HP defensive stats means I will be able to fight longer. I will be able to get more spells. The way I see Viego is you're trying to get, like, two cycles in a fight. So like two sets of spells. So like I'm trying to use my spells like twice. I'm trying to use my W, stun them once, combo, walk away, combo them again, kill them then. That's the way I see Viego. It's not like I'm going in once and I'm one-shotting someone. Um, I like playing multiple rotations because nah, that's just the way I see uh, yeah. the champ. It's like not like a one-shot champ to me. This was good. Um, here's where like it really started a matter of pinging. Um, you would see like at the at the start of your game way earlier, like you don't ping at all. Like like if the one takeaway you want from like from the coaching here is just like just please ping like. Like please, if you want to hit, you want to climb. Like it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong. Pinging these guys means you'll be on a, on a closer like scale of doing the same thing. If you guys are doing the same thing, good things happen. So even if it's bad here, even if if you're if you're pinging them to do like the most stupid thing, but you guys are on the same page now, it yeah. like sh like it's, it's just like the stupid buff. Like sometimes it just works because you're on the same page, um, and yeah, they they don't expect right. it. So just ping them, and if you don't think they'll listen to you, I promise you, nine out of ten times you're, they will listen to you. And it's just it's just cope to say that they're they're not gonna listen to me. So why should I pick? Like th those people mm -hmm. are just coping. Uh, yeah. I probably, yeah. There, there there will be some people who don't. That is true. But ping to the people who will listen to you. That's fine. Yeah, I definitely just like kind of let. <laughs> I kind of just like let bad things happen around me a lot of the time when I'm uh when I'm playing jungle for sure. Yeah, but you're the jungler, right? You you actually have the easiest role in the game. Farm. PBE camps, right? Like these guys are lighting, CSing. Like CSing is way harder, right? Because you have the last hit versus like the AI like minions, and mm -hmm. also like they have to lane against like real enemy champions. So it's like much more difficult. That's why it often ends up being the support or jungle job because it's just like your job description on your resume is literally like don't play the game. Like don't play the game. You have the most passive type of game. Like cause support, you don't have to farm minions at all, bro. Like you just, you every every now and then you have to farm. But you're not even last hitting, you're last hitting the minion at 50% HP, right? So, like, it's the job True. of the jungle and support to communicate that, because, like, you're not doing much else. Like, I, sure, you can be making up a plan, your plan should take 30 seconds max, what about the rest of your camps? Like, you have so much endless time in jungle to just, um, communicate to your team. It's your job. Okay, so here, here's where it happens again, where uh, use your E on the Herald. We don't know, actually, we see we see Vi, which is fine, but we don't know if this Darius is actually going to come and like maybe try and 1v2 us or not. Like, we don't know if... Well, close to that. But, I mean, this Darius could. He could. And plus, I mean, Vi shows, so you're fine. Vi shows, right? But um, it's just the principle. Like, your, your E here, your few extra autos that you're going to get actually doesn't speed up the herald that much i know we want to speed it up but again i'm just emphasizing the principle of like you need to be really aware that you using your e before like a potential fight really makes a huge difference um just 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 like right here is actually a fine time to use your e because you see vi but just be really cognizant of it and like in, in future games when you're dealing mutual objectives you do not want to use your key ability your e on the objective you want you need to save it yeah Auto the objective. Sense. Yeah. Okay. So everything looks really, really good here. Um, and then here is one situation where we're already like, we already won the play, but but look at what we do. We, we W the Ari. And what yeah. happens is we lost 50% of our HP. Right? What, 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 what I'm doing is I'm doubling this cannon. I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay. And the reason why is there's two reasons. One, the more HP you take, the less of a threat you are on the map. So just map pressure in general, you have less. Mm -hmm. 
Two, and the clear one is you were doing the Raptors a second ago, right? Or someone was doing the Raptors. I think it was you. Um, yeah, his Raptors are right before up. You're the one who wanted to play for his camps. So why are we losing our entire HP bar when his camps are things we want to play for? So W, w away and go back to his camps. And yeah. you can also play to dive this guy top lane. I and do... okay, let's say we don't want to invade his camps. Let's go our camps. Yeah, I have a very bad habit of playing for highlights. Um, not <laughs> oh. like, like it's it's just no. Okay, kind of sure, like sure. Psychologically, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, a, a problem. Um, but no, I mean that like in the moment, I'm gonna just like need to like actively try to like hold myself back from doing things like this because um, it's definitely a bad habit that I've developed a lot, and this is like an example of of that. Um, no, I, I can actually see that. It, it actually it actually is something that I want to try and get into doing, playing for highlights. But that, that's 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 yeah. cool. That's cool. Well, I, I can help you with that. Yeah, <laughs> it's a mindset you. thing. No, no, it's it definitely is, yeah. something that like it makes sense. It makes sense. But definitely when you're when you're trying to go to a challenger, like it's just like those mm -hmm. types of things will they'll get you. And um, right here, yeah. so right here, um, look at your position. Right, so mm -hmm. Vi comes back in right here. Uh, and you're going back in. You're charging W. You're charging W. He doesn't know you're there yet. Yeah. Right. So, so, so the idea is he doesn't know you're here yet. So, like, my, I think what I was trying to emphasize is like you don't have to throw your W out just yet. You can wait a bit longer to like come out and have a better angle for yourself, and also use um, um, just I don't know. It, it just feels like you Wing a little too early here. I think it it, it it's like pretty unlucky. He auto attacked as you. Uh, but mm -hmm. at the same time, um, it's just like they they don't know you're you're here. So I think like you have to land it. It's like not like missing it is like really yeah. depressing. It's like depression. Um, and then using your smite as well could make a difference. But you can, you still get to kill Ari. It's still great. It's not not the end of the world. Um, okay. And then here is just a just just this is just macro, and I'll give you the quick rundown. So our goal right now in in this state of the game is to do um it just depends on the game state but um pretty much the three situations are um let me go to a tap screen one you're even so it's either you're even you're ahead or you're behind so in this game you're ahead right you have two dragons you have yep. like three three grubs you're, you're you're ahead you also have the herald you're ahead so our goal should become playing for these turrets and the order of operations is always going to be these turrets first then this turret and okay. the way to break this mid turret when you're ahead is use the herald. So you're never really using herald for this turret or this turret unless they're doing something really, really atrocious, like really bad. Um, but like 99% of the time, you're using your herald here and you're trying to break this turret and this turret. So the reason why I want you to recall right here is because look at your Silas. He's very strong and he wants to play the game. Um, if you're farming camps here, then recalling, you're not going to be on the map for a good minutes right you take 30 seconds from your camps recall and they come off the map for a good minute so that means in a game where we're ahead we're not playing the game for a minute but why does this item sunder sky actually change the fact that you guys are going to win the next fight it won't you're oh, still no. going to win the next fight you're going to play a 2v2 against Ari potentially and just destroy them because you guys are just good strong champs you guys are strong in the game and like you look at your items look at Vi items like it's just like Vi is like depressed so we want to play for a massive advantage in their jungle on turrets, you could even go top lane if you wanted to, but that's the way you would want to play it. So, from base here, you do one camp, that's fine. And what time do we go and play with our side laner? Right, that's like normally the question. The mm -hmm. time you want to play with your side laner is you want to synchronize yourself with a wave. Right, so mid wave is always going to be first in the mid game, yep. but your side wave here. You're like walking out of base almost with it. So what you mm -hmm. can do here is you can actually E this wall and just run with the wave. And then go through here, go through jungle, look for control, and dive this Ari by you guys like by yourself. If you don't see Vi here on Gromp, Vi Ari's just dead. Yeah. And the way you're playing is like, okay, you're playing on this wave. Why are we playing on this wave? Well, let's say I'm Ari and I'm like, hey, I don't want to go bot turret because I want to make a play mid lane. Okay, sure. Ari goes to make some, goes to make a play mid lane. Now you're on this bot wave and you're breaking this bot turret. So you always want to play with waves. So that's, that's another like massive note I wrote. You need to think about waves. But I can tell you're not thinking about waves. Like That's yeah. when you should be playing with your laners. It's on the waves. It's going to take, again, it's it's a muscle memory to start 
to begin learning that, every time you play with a laner, you must use a wave with it. The wave will be the key to taking good fights, and even if shit fights happen, if you have the wave, good things come from it. Yeah. No, that actually is very enlightening, <laughs> enlightening to hear you explain that. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, like, honestly, like, my brain was just like, all right, well, I'm going to finish clearing my camps, get my item, and then that was, that was like, basically my thought process, but... Yeah. yeah and, and if yeah, you're in an even game state, or if you're behind, what you, what you want to do that, that game plan, like, makes complete sense, and it's completely fine. I just wanted to see, like, I want to kind of show you what it, what it kind of feels like if you're trying to accelerate a game and, like, not do it, like, stup stupidly. And at the same time, on the gold amount you have here, where it's it's 1.3k, you're not, it's not like you're spending no gold. It's not like you're, like, doing nothing. You're spending a good amount of gold. Let's say you, you still just want to farm your camps and just take two recalls. Mm -hmm. That's also fine, too, but it gives you the option of coming off a base and even fighting mid lane. Even going top end and defending, even like like from base, you can even go top end and maybe defend them. It just gives you more options. Okay. Okay, so here we go back for our items. This is fine. Our um, Silas kills the um, Vi, and I I kind of explain this in game how that worked, right? Like you drop this ping for your teammate, so he can actually like play like a psycho. He, he like Silas was able to get wards for himself. If you if you don't have Harold, like you're sweeping as well, and just making Silas's life really easy. So Silas, like you created enough pressure for Silas to go for the solo play. Um, okay, so this is how I can tell you you play Assassin Viego. You're mm -hmm. going from behind them here. Like, I would never take this angle. I'm always going to connect with my Rel, mm -hmm. my Silas, and my Renekton. Always. And even if, even if you're playing like Assassin Viego, I think that is the best way to play it. You don't want to be 1v5 flanking. It feels like very bad in fights. You want to be in the fight, staying in your fog, and just like waiting. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, and, then, and here sense, it is. Yeah. Here it is. Oh, do, do, do you need a? You need to go or something? Or do you say something? Or? Oh no no no! I just okay. said that made sense. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. Um. So. Um. Here you did something great, right? Well, okay. Well, okay. You 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 can just watch what happens. You you kill this yeah. guy. Beautiful. 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 Okay. This guy goes in, and you guys are just going in. What's going on? Let's yeah. go to the dragon. Let's go win the game. Right? And then now Rel has to recall. Like Rel's full HP here. Right? Silas is full HP here too. You guys have won the fight. The game is over. You guys are gonna be at third dragon. You're like you've successfully jungled after this guy, you had a pressuring soul. When Baron's mm -hmm. gonna be up, I they have to make a choice. Do we go Baron? Do we go soul? Do we fight? Do we win? You're you're up a lot. Here's where Yeah, you go for those highlights, your game's gonna look terrible. And your yeah. an argument is, oh, I see my Silas flying in. I yeah. want to go in too. You, it doesn't matter. You, you, you're the you control your character. It's a yeah. mental thing to see this guy and want to be. It's like um, if this guy jumps off a bridge, like would you jump off with him? That's I would. The same <laughs> like, that's the thing like yes, I would. Yeah, yes, I, and then that's where you have to train yourself. You have to discipline yourself yeah. to not do that. Like it's not easy, but that that is the truth. Like that's the reality. You have to discipline yourself to not jump yeah. off the bridge with this guy because. That's how so, you so, lose dragons. So, like, if he kills himself there and I back out, like, it, like is that is dragon still an option, or do we just like? Yeah, for sure. That be? Because because look, like this guy alone got this guy to fifty percent HP. You guys are going to dragon. Like, Rel lost a bit of HP. That's fine. Like, Ari has no ult now. You still have your uh. Well, you don't have your ult, but like, you still have like all your conditions. You guys are up items. Kaiser's gonna be alive soon. You guys are like you guys killed them later. And let's say it's a fight. It's what's gonna be. It's gonna be a three v three, at at um worst mm -hmm. um but the the idea is like even if you don't do the dragon right now off the rip what you're doing is you're like playing to control top side get some top cams you're playing to get your 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 top cams like these yeah. kills do not matter like yeah you know like, stop playing for these kills um uh but silas like wouldn't die here it's like, like silas actually wouldn't die here uh, and the reason why is like he has flash he has the ways of getting himself out if you walked away here Silas would E in W and realize, like, if you start spamming the shit out of him, he would just insta flash out. Like, Silas isn't dying here. Um, mm -hmm. And you, you, you can, you, as you play more and use your pings more actively, when you see stupid teammates like this, you start pinging them. Like, these are the guys who actually will listen to you. Like, they want, they want to win. And they want to be on the same page as you. So they're going in because he thinks it's good. And you join with him, he's going to keep going. Like, this guy flashed late like a dummy. Like, I don't know what he's doing. Like, he, like he, actually, he was charmed. Never mind. Um, but, um, 
even here after you kill the Maokai, if you're if you're playing for this dragon, like what I'm doing, if I'm in this position here, is I'm spam pinging everyone here. I'm spam pinging everyone, everyone, everyone. Let's go to dragon. Let's go to dragon. That's how you win. That's how you securely win games that are like can look like shit because, well, size Enten, yeah, but like you also joined him, right? So either like yeah, it's just two things. Right? You use your pings more actively, and when your teammate ends, you need to train yourself to not listen to your stupid teammates because they exist. But um. It's on oh, you, just, it's a good player. It is just like... No, let's do it. That is just, more than anything else, that... That entire sequence that you just explained is like my biggest Achilles heel. Like, that is yeah. <laughs> what happens to me all the time. It kills people, and and, and the yeah. problem is people walk look at look at the game, and they only they only hear the size is stupid part, and they don't yeah. take any accountability. Like that's the problem. That's why people who play mid game and like who have good early games because early game is great, and who who just like man they just like don't they don't see it how it's like it's your responsibility as well to uh to do that. Okay, so here we do this shit, and you 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 like okay like okay like honestly like it's like it's a like, I I grief cured. This is not a great play, but it mm -hmm. actually can be. Um, if you W flash, like you have the right idea to W here, but if you W flash, you bring Maokai into everyone, like it, it can work, but um, it's, it's definitely not a good play when you don't have alt. I just I, wanted to I kind of- Can I W flash? Like, am I, am I rooted here? No, like, 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 I... like you, this guy would follow you. He would like, he would like follow you. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, like you have enough time. Like, you, you can even flash right away. Like you can even flash okay. right away. And, and like, there's like, there's no way it hits you. Like you, you definitely in this game, you need to do a way better job at using your W and or using your R, sorry, and using your flash. Yep. Because you like, you got hit by literally everything. Everything was ultable, everything was flashable, and you just kept getting hit by things. Yeah, I did. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, I hard grief you here. And, and the way to look at it is, is the reason why I want you to herald, uh, and the reason why I want you to make this play is like, like they're, oh, let's see, let's see. Um, they're, no, they're all full HP. Um, I I read I just read the map wrong, and honestly, I don't know, I'm just, I just wanted to herald mid. Like like, like pretty much <laughs> yeah. herald herald is 48 seconds. You don't have to use it on this wave. You can use it on the next wave. Every wave spawns in 30 seconds. There's no rush. Um, you can do mm -hmm. one two camps here and then come back and herald mid. But that's fine. Um, you you live. You, you die here. Like it's not the greatest, but it is what it is. Yeah. My bad. My my fault. Um, so here, um. You're okay, so this is what I'm talking about I'm playing on waves right now. See how they're showing three people on this wave. What yeah. that signals is they want to break this turret, right? So, either when they're doing this, you've got to go to the wave to try and prevent them from breaking the turrets, or the turret's just gone. So, this camp does not matter, and that, that's like something you, like you need to understand. Past 20 minutes, your camps do not matter, they're irrelevant, they're so pointless, they're useless. You want to get control over qu quadrants of the map. Control over wave, control over neutral objectives, and just like control in general. Like you want to get vision. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes this camp is fine to do because there's nothing to do. But right now there's actually an urgent wave mid that if you're here in like in the front, you could potentially f defend this mid turret. But let's look at this mid turret's HP. It's thirty percent HP. Do you actually even ever defend this mid turret? And the answer is no. Yeah. Then again, if these guys are going to go in and kill themselves like this, then just leave. He is dead. That guy is dead. So just get out of here. Just just get the hell out of here. This Kaisa is also dead. So get the hell out of here. Like you finally you got the message. Alt. You gotta alt. You gotta alt. Um but again, the the, the biggest takeaway is if this wave is important to you, the defending the mister is important to you, you have to be on the wave. When the wave is hitting the turret when the wave is hitting the turret, you need to already be here. Already. You can't be there as the wave is hitting the turret, you need to be there before. Okay? And then if they're in thing like this then just just leave him. He's freaking dead. Fucking he's he's dead. Um, but um, that's okay. That was that was like like not the end of the world. Um, so here, <laughs> uh, you land this W. Um, but you can smite him again. You gotta get used to smiting while Wing. Just make sure W way easier to land. You get this guy's flash. So we got two flashes here in, in this period of time. We got um. Close to flash. So this is something that like is a skill you you're gonna need on Viego to track flashes and just have a mental mental idea of like hey there you there is flash at two two um twenty four twenty four two twenty two forty five so mm -hmm. I can kill the Callista in the next five minutes without her flashing because it's pretty much Viego's entire kit is flashable and your your champ that needs resets. Let's say you use all your abilities on a 
a champion that flashes from them, you're now useless in the fight. So you need to like A target champions that are flashless or sorry, A track flashes and then B target those champions that are flashless. Okay, and then here you go in and you're you're scared. And this is how I can tell like you, like I, you don't um you don't play this build. Um actually another thing here is you, you also E this wall. Here you, again you need to stop Eing like to get to the fight faster. Like you can W to get to the fight faster. You need your E in the actual fight. Not just for attack speed or move speed in the fight, for the fog of war. It's actually insanely annoying to fight Viegos when they're using their E in the actual fight. It's so miserable to kill Viegos while he's using E in the fight. Stop okay. eating walls like this. Okay? okay? You get sent into the fight and like there's four Sunder Sky procs here. That's 800 HP. You have 3k health and you have like a 4v4 here, where, like, you're already winning, the, 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 like, the condition, you're already winning the spot. So, like, you Wing away, just, like, you're just, you don't, you don't yeah. play the build. So, it makes sense, but, like, even if you don't play the build, and you're playing regular Viego, I guess you, you did say it's because you got startled by the Clistalt. Um, mm. But, um, even if you're not playing the, 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 the build, what you, what you want to do here is you want to, like, go this way, or go this way, and, like, hit this guy. Like, in these fights I'll show you later, you're just not hitting anyone. You're literally just not hitting people. Even if you have 20-30% HP, you can still hit people. And it's just like, when you are scared, you're scared. And you're out of the fight. And then that, like, kind of needs to stop if you want to play these fights better. Okay. We get the kill on the Maokai, because he comes in and wants to die. So that's awesome. Um, actually, big thing here. Big thing. This is like, this is like, I'm not sure if he messed it up, but we need to E before we possess this guy. We have to. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like you not eing before taking this possession is like I'm banning you as a Viego Viego main. Like you're banned. <laughs> you gotta yeah, throw no, your e I, down. To be fair, you I do. I do like usually. Uh, I I do usually try to do that. Um, yeah. It's like, but like it's something I know, but I yeah. I'm not even sure even if you're, even if you're like um waiting one second for your e cooldown. It's essential to do that. I'm not into possessing this guy until I get my E down in these fights. Unless you need to possess to like live and try mm. and outplay. Like you're always going to get your E first before you possess someone. It's essential. But here, yeah, they used all their juice and, and you kinda just lost track. Like look at this guy's HP. Like look at all their HP. Like like no one yeah. has juice here. And then here, if you wanna go and like make things worse, you just gotta like get out. Get out of your like get out of Maokai. You're just you're just not strong as Maokai. But mm. um like, like ultimately like like, you won the fight, like, ping everyone to leave. These guys need a recall, and then you yeah. can actually buy Sterex here as well, um, or you're really close, at least, and then, like, you can play for... Actually, you get the kill. No, you don't get the kill. But you're, you're really close. Yeah. You can farm two, three camps, buy Sterex. Yeah, I um, You can play with the dragon. Speed for sure. Yeah. yeah, in the fight, you gotta track your teammates. They matter. And then also, the big idea is, hey, we're fighting for dragon. So, that brings me back to my main point. Who cares about all this? I don't care. Yeah. We are in a great spot. What I care about is a pop quiz. I'll give you three things, okay. and then and then and then and then you gotta you gotta give me the, the right answer. Okay. So A, go to Dragon. B, yeah. clear this mid wave. C, go to my bot camps. Which one do you want to do? So is this before the fight or after? Like like right here. Like 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 even when it's at ulti, what do you want to do? Or I guess D is take the fight. So it's. A, go to Dragon. B, clear mid wave. C, go to your camps. D, take the fight. Probably, uh, probably push mid wave into Dragon. Yes, go mid wave first. So clear this fucking mid wave. And what's gonna happen is this is gonna be pushed out, right? They're gonna be stuck over here trying to go back like this because you have the mid wave in, right? So you can like, let's say these guys do something stupid, and like I don't know, they they like pull Baron. I, I don't know. They they can like if they just. Don't recall together, they don't clump mm -hmm. together. Like, you can get this dragon for free, yeah, but you can also run down mid, and, like, you, you're playing on a wave. So pretty much yeah. what we're missing here is, like, this fight is irrelevant to what we're playing for, and what we're playing for is the dragon, so let's get the mid wave. The mid wave is what gets us dragon. The mid wave and a side wave. So you guys already have a side wave, which is great. Now you get the mid wave in. And even if you don't have the side wave, let's say it's over here, you want the dang mid wave. Get the mid yeah. wave, you're in a great spot. So you, you know it. Get this mid wave. You, you know you know it. Like this this whole shenanigans. Yeah, you can win, yeah, you can lose. Like that's the, that's that's the thing about fighting in league. Let's say you're feeling great. You probably could have won this. Let's say you're feeling bad, you lose it. It's a 50-50 sometimes. Like in, in reality, like you're really fed, but sometimes you just lose. That happens. So you play for objectives, waves, and just making the game really simple. You'll be like 
realizing that like the game doesn't require that much fighting. Like, not really. Okay, so the, the this is the fight where you saw Callista as a kill, and I, honestly, I kind of uh, um, I didn't see. So this is good. You 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 playing like this is good. Um, so here we flash away, which makes sense. We were Callista. Um, and then we go in here. So this is great. So you, so. Um, okay, all this is actually fine. Um, the one thing I didn't like was right here. This is this this is um. So after you get this guy's this guy's spell here, you can actually go back and like just hit these guys and like, you win the fight. You know, like you you pretty much pretty much just like pretty much. It's not a Viego thing to understand because you you want to kill them to get the to to get the possession, but Maokai's dead. He's like pretty much irrelevant in this fight. Yeah. Right. Like he's gonna get maybe one spell, and then and then if he comes in to use his spells, you'll kill him anyway. So if I'm Maokai here, I I can't fight because I'll give Viego a free reset. So at this HP, he's dead. Like that's the power of Viego. He's dead. Because if he comes in, guess what? You're getting reset. You're gonna one man one on the fight. This Renekton, on the other hand, is going to be really strong here when he has spells. But the main takeaway is kill their front line and don't stress killing this guy. It's a Viego thing to want to kill them, but that's how normal fighting looks like. Where it's just like you're you're you have Callista right now, and even if you're other champs, like if you hit the Darius with your Kaisa and Rel, like you're in a great position to just like win the front to back. Um, yeah, but. Yeah, I've, since yeah, you have Callista here, like just just crush their their front line, just absolutely destroy them. And even mm -hmm. if you're not Callista, like you you have really strong items to just kill these HP targets up here. Yeah, you can just you can just back whack whack away these guys and they're dead, and then you're, the fight is won. Yeah, you see how Malkin wants to get back in the fight. He wants to like start using spells, and he just gives you a freaking free reset. Thanks, yeah. man. <laughs> so here, um, it's more like I I I think, uh, I'm I'm just a little concerned. With how you play this, well, also, also it's a Darius thing to to use your E first, then then Q, right? Because mm -hmm. you, you see them, um, but but that's like a small thing. Um, what what I'm concerned about is when you kill Maokai, you don't transform into him. Like, transform into him, and the reason why, like, you can ult this guy and go back to transform him. The reason why when you transform is like, it's like you do not want to die because mm -hmm. you have his camps to take, you have dragon to take, you have your camps to take. You have you just don't want to die here. Okay, honestly, this probably come ties into like highlight play play style but yeah. like you possess Maokai and like there's no way he's killing you because you're gonna heal so much of your HP and like Ari's not living and again let's say Ari lives who cares why because we're getting the dragon so literally who cares if this guy lives but like you, you come so close to dying here where it's just like like man like I, I just like would not be happy if I died pretty much yeah yeah I mean <clears throat> in general I tried to like always grab a possession I just figured like there I didn't need it um, like I could just, I could just ult her with the ult I already had, and it would be enough to kill her. Um, right. But you know, like in the moment, sometimes. Yeah. yeah sometimes no, it I makes sense. Like that. <laughs> yeah, I th I think also to, to think about it, it's like you can ult this guy, go back, and then ult literally just ult him again. Like that's so annoying, Vieku. Is like you can just like mm -hmm. take him. How can I just ult him again? Like it's just yeah. stupid. Um, but that, that's why I, I really want you to think about, like, just possessing as much as you can, because you gotta throw down more abilities and just ult more. Like, that's, like, the main thing, is, like, you just get more ults. So it's really, really much value. Um, so here, look at your E. Why are we eating the wall? Why are we eating this wall? Now you don't have E for the actual objective, which is red buff. Yep. And even if, let's say, red buff is not actual objective, we just don't want to use our E like that. Like, it's just mm -hmm. bad to use our E like that. Um, so... It doesn't necessarily matter too much. You have Sterex and everything here. Um, but um, also, here, you'll, you'll see you're super tanky. So I, I know you kind of thought you were dead. But you're yeah. super tanky here. You tank both ults and charm and everything. Mm -hmm. You auto this guy here and auto potentially auto this guy here too and use your E. Like, like I'm going in here. You're going away. I'm going in. Right? Because Sunder Sky, like, if you get used to it, Sunder Sky will heal you to full here pretty much. And like Vi is dead. You, your teammates actually lose out on so much damage here because you're like running away. Like this Vi should be insta dead, and then you're killing Maokai next, and then you're killing the next guy, and like you actually get a like triple penta like penta kill here, um, and it's just great. Um, but uh, yeah, we're we're really scared here. 
and that's fine because it's it's yeah. just you just you got to get used to your, your build. But the, again, the big <sighs> thing, no matter what 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 vehicle build you're going, you cannot be eating like this before you're playing for something. Yeah, I didn't you gotta, realize you gotta be, how much I wasted my like. Yeah, you gotta be, you gotta be really aware. You're, you're you're punishing yourself by using your e like that. Okay. Um. So here. Um, yeah, it's nothing, <laughs> and that's just, that's just on him, like, this uh, kind of solo gave this game away, um, nah, I mean, if, if I want to be, like, really nitpicky, like, you could potentially kill this Darius. I was thinking about it, but, you know. Yeah, it's just hard. It's just hard to see. Or at the very least, you want to proc under its sky, possibly here, and just get this guy mm -hmm. lower. But like, ultimately, like, whatever. It could just be nit nit nitpicky. Um, but honestly, it's not too much to worry about. One thing to think about here in this fight is like, again, like, look at the angle you're going from. You can't walk through now. It just feels like shit to walk through. Yeah. So I want you to just try and be be with the ball. Like your champion is great in the ball. Not as a flanker, not as not as someone coming from the side, especially with this build. Maybe if like, and I, I don't know, even if you're going like one shot build here, like I wouldn't want to be that separated from everyone. Yeah, um, and then and then what if like my team locks front line? Like if I is it still better to like go through the front at that point? If they what if they if, if, they, sorry, if like they we lack front line because like here like yeah like it makes sense logically to like stick with my Rel and Renekton and Silas because like we're gonna jump in on someone together. But yeah. um, like in a game where I like I have like four range with like a Janner or something, I feel like if I'm like in the front with with like no engage, then we just like won't be able to get anything done. Um, yeah, so well, that's where I would go for a flank. You're the front line then. That just means your draft needs a front liner, and it's like you're playing the only front line champion. So that's where I'd actually adapt my build even further. If I have four range champs. That means I have like Jace, Vayne, you know, some damage mm -hmm. dealer top lane. I have some hyper carry mid mage, and I have some like bot lane who's like enchanter. So I'm that's where I'm 100% frontlining. I'm going something like Sunder Sky into Sterax, into Black Cleaver, into Kanek or Randuins. And I'm just that's like compositionally my job now to be a frontliner. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, like, how does your teammates play? Like, they don't have a front line. So how does your range top, your range mid, and AD and support play the game? Like, they're just going to get looked on, and now the game is over. At the very least, if they look on you as the front line, because like, you're tanky, your four range champions can deal damage. And now, you have a chance of winning the fight. Because they'll deal damage as they go in on you. Let's say they go in on your back line, and you're with the ball. At the very least, now, you can try and kill the guy who went on your back line. Use that as a reset to snowball the fight. So, like... Almost no matter what world I'm living in, I'm always going to be um, playing with the ball. The only time I'm ever like, realistically flanking is if this Darius is like 20% HP, I have my ult, and I'm like looking to kill him. Like I'm looking to kill someone here and then like then snowball the fight that way. But most fights aren't like that. Like if, if you're like sniffing out a person and he's just, they're just like really dead or out of position and you can kill them, like that's good. That's fine. But um, obviously in this, in this position, it's like not... That realistic for that to happen, mm -hmm. and you do this, you do this a lot in fights. Look at your W. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you. This. Actually, wait. Look at your W here too. Uh, this is what I said before earlier, right? It's just like you're, you look at, look, look, you're just charging your W. Wait, wait for, oh, oh, never mind. Okay, here's you just, you just W away like, randomly, like you're just Wing away. Mm -hmm. So now, like when, the, when, when, like when you actually could have W this Darius and killed this guy, like you don't even have it up. Okay, yeah. and then on top of that, you just charge your W, and now you don't have it again. Yeah. So, like, in this actual fight, I mean, whether it makes a difference or not, it's just, like, you aren't playing to your best conditions, and that's what matters. Like, you need, you need to stop throwing your W out in these fights where it's, like, it can really make a huge difference. And here's where um, going for that backline target who's already dead is, like, it's, uh, it's like, if you, have the more, if you have more DPS, it makes sense. But right here, like, actually, like, if you start hitting Vi, Darius, and then turn with Kai'Sa, you, you guys actually can 2v4 if you play four, if you frontline for your Kai'Sa. You actually hard stop this this game, this fight here, and you, you'd actually probably get Callista um, um, reset here as well, and then like the fight's just won. Yeah, because like I I want you to look at how um I want you to look. I mean it's not a, it's not a lot to see, but like look at 
auto Q here and like just like one or two more autos, like you actually deal a bunch of damage to this Darius. It's not like you don't deal damage with this build. Um, you're just a lot. You're just hella tanky. And it's like the 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 damage comes from Bork. Like Bork does a crazy amount of damage to people who have high HP. It's because of the passive. So you're actually still able to kill their frontline. I know maybe a lot of vehicle players like don't like killing frontline, but that's why I like Bork because it just gives me all the options. I can kill their backline, I can kill the frontline, and I'm happy. And I'm happy being a frontline. I'm also happy being a flanker because you can pivot Bork into assassin if you really want to. Um, yeah. But yeah, that fight is just like a a build uh, or like a build understanding gap. Just fine. Um, and then from this point on in the game, it's sort of just, oh, this is where, yeah, this is where this guy does this <laughs> disastrous play. Um, so one thing I want to start seeing more from you, um, is like, look at, look at where you are. Mm. You could be all the way here, right? And it doesn't spot you. I want you to play with your fog more. They don't see you. And I know it's coming up, but like, like overall, I just want you to abuse the fact that your E puts you in fog of war and they don't know where you are. Like I, I can I would even say going for like crazy angles here where I'm Eing the wall and running down and I'm going back here. And they have no idea I'm I'm here. And then now if I want to fight, obviously Christ is in base, but now I have an angle where here and they think I'm over here. Like that's the power of Viego Viego E. Um you can do so many cool clips with, with Viego Fog where it's just like like, like, if you want to juke people, right, you can, like, well, here, here, like, you can imagine it. Person's chasing you, um, here, so this is enemy, this is you, and you throw your E this way, from here, and you can actually stand at the edge right here, and they'll run like this, to try and get you. Like, I've actually done that play multiple times, where I'm just, like, you just gotta try and use your E fog as much as you can, because, like, your E makes Viego like really, really broken. Your your fog makes Viego really broken. Um, yeah. But but uh, otherwise, um, that's pretty much it from this game. And the main takeaways are just like if you like this build, definitely I I would definitely recommend it. I would definitely recommend like don't buy so much DPS. Like if, if okay fuck it, you want to go crack again, you want to go track first. I don't care. Fuck it, man. Go whatever you want. Don't buy full damage on this champion, please, for the love of God. Just like go some defensive items. Um, yeah. I'm talking to your chat too. I'm talking to all the Viego players out there. Da like, like the more damage you have, it doesn't mean you have a higher carry potential. The more HP you have, the more stupid shit you can walk into and get hit by means like you're going to have a higher chance of actually being able to win the game, win the fight. Uh, at least from, from my experience. Because I'm not a perfect player and I get hit by spells and I get like I put myself in bad positions sometimes. And it's just like with that build, with like more defensive items, like I'm allowed to make more mistakes. And that's that's what we'll say at the end of the day. It's whichever side of the, whichever side makes more mistakes loses. And if it doesn't count as a mistake anymore because you have stronger items, then yeah. I'm all in. That's that's the way I see it. Yeah. That but makes uh, sense. yeah, that's um, that's this game. Hopefully, it's been helpful. You have any? Yeah. No, that like, was very informational. It was also like, yeah, because I mean. I don't, I, I don't play off stream at all. Um, so right. I've, I've developed a lot of like bad habits with like you know like the way I play fights and stuff. Um, also like uh like some of the things that I do like go for flanks and stuff is like off of like I guess like develop frustration with Viego where like you know when you, um, like when you don't have a front line or whatever like I was talking about um. Like, I kind of just go for, like, flanks and hero plays and stuff. Right. But it does... Yeah, I mean, it does make a lot more sense when you when you describe, um, like, the reason for the build and everything like that. Like, the just... And also, like, the Maokai situation where he couldn't go in because he was, he was too low and would give me a free reset. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. But, yeah, there is, a, there is definitely a lot that I, I learned from this, for sure. Awesome. And also, you know, I hope that the people that are going to watch this also um, learned a lot. And I, I'm sure yeah. they did. Uh, one thing I want to, like, mention, though, is, like, like that mindset of, like, yeah, I got to make hero players. Yeah, I got to do things to, like, win the game. It's, like, it actually is, like, it makes the game, like, oh, stressful. And, like, it's a game at the end of the day. Like, like if you lose, just lose in peace. Like, like, as stupidly weird as it sounds, you'll actually find yourself in better positions. Because the enemy, for some reason, whenever people get ahead, 
Mm-hmm. They get like what is it like cocky and like they get like too ego so they're gonna like throw into you the more you look for superhero plays superman status and shot a 1v9 yeah. the actually harder it is to win the game um from for my experience at least like like the, the analogy i give before to like other people i've coached in the past is like the more defensive you play actually the, the more annoying it is and the more stress the enemy team gets to where they'll make mistakes the more relaxed, like you're just playing for neutrals, you're not even fighting them, you're just doing your camps. The more tilted they get, because it, it, like, do you play chess by, by any chance? Or like, know how chess yeah, moves? Yeah, I, I understand it. Like, basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much like from my experience, at least, like when when I've been playing chess, when I see chess people play, it's like the people who play chess, they don't actually try and push all the time. They play really calm chess where they're building their formation. They're just taking their sweet time, and once they get a good position over the enemy, that's where they can send it, but they don't even send it by that much. They push in a little bit. It's, it's pretty much, you want to take your slow wins, so after you get that one kill, go for the objective, go for the dragon. Or after, like, let's say you're, you're in, like, an okay spot, you just don't force things, and you just relax. Like, I, like, I know throughout this entire game from 20 minutes, yeah. after every fight you lost, you're like, man, I, I think we should just go force a fight to try and win. Mm-hmm. Right, like, when you have that mindset... It just makes the game actually a lot harder to win because you're not actually thinking. You're not actually thinking about applicable things you can really do. All you're thinking about is, man, I want to fight them to win the game. Man, I want to fight them to win the game. Man, I want to fight them to win the game. You're not actually thinking, do you have to kill a specific person? Do you have to yeah. maybe play a different macro sequence? Do you have to buy pink words to help you win the fight? You're thinking about, you need to think about the specifics to try and win, to move your pieces around, to... Uh, to try and do things, but ultimately, I just I, I would just say like playing more defensively versus aggressively, trying to force things on your end um, makes things worse. I would just say like just relax yeah. a little. And, and game is good, game is fine. You lose a game, hey man, you 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 play a few more few more games, like it's chill. Um, it's like mental nirvana at the end of the day. Yeah, no, that uh, I think that honestly might rewire my brain right there. <laughs> like basically, what you just explained, because I mean, like I do. Yeah, like the the hi- the playing for highlights thing is like, um, you know, just that that's an element that's like a bad habit. I think the um, that though the uh the playing for hero plays is like more like core to, um, the way I try to like win losing games. I guess, um, right. when I have a lead, but I, right. it does make a lot of sense. Like the the way you describe it to play, um, yeah, to play just more at peace when uh when i, mean, I have a lead like i think the best like i'll ask you a question first and the, yeah. the best way to explain this is when you're playing jungle and you feel like you've played well but you see the enemy jungler up camps up cs up a level or up mm-hmm. items what do you feel uh yeah i mean like frustrated that yeah like they shouldn't be ahead yeah they should they shouldn't be ahead okay yeah. so let's say that's you let's say you're ahead or even or like in a decent spot Mm-hmm. The enemy jungler is going to feel the exact same way, and guess what they're going to do? They're going to run it down. And guess what champ you're playing? Viego. So come run it down into me. Like, that's, that's like, the best part about playing Viego is, like, yep. someone on the enemy team is going to get upset, going to get emotional, and they're going to come kill themselves into you. So yeah. the rule I gave myself on Viego when I was climbing to, like, rank 2, when I was climbing to Challenger for the first time, when I was one tricking Viego, like, I actually show, um, like, this is when I was climbing to, uh, to, to um, Challenger on, like, both of my accounts, where I just mm-hmm. played a shit ton of Viego. Um... The the way I saw Viego is I gave myself this rule of I cannot go in first. I have to wait till the enemy goes in or until one of my teammates go in. Yep. I'm always second. It's the one rule I gave myself as Viego that really changed the way I played fights and I think mm-hmm. really helped. You are only allowed to go second in fights. That means you're never the one getting engaged on. You're never the one engaging. It's the enemy team is engaging on your teammates, or the enemy team is engaging, uh, yeah, or, or your team is engaging on the enemy team. It's one of those. It's never I'm going in first, or and it's never your teammates are going, or it's and it's never um, the enemy is going in on you. Like you're 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 always staying in fog. You're always waiting. When they go on your teammates, that's where you show up. Hello. And if if the, if your teammates go in, well, that you're behind them and you're ready to to play off their engage. Yep. Um, I don't mean like play like backline backline. It's it just like if you if there's two front lines here where you're where you're one and this is this is the battle line where they're over here. You're like two. You're like, where you're like right next to this guy. And let's say this is like a backline over here. Like like you're just like right parallel with with the guy in front line, but you're mm-hmm. never 
overstepping on that guy. You're never going forward. You're waiting for yeah. this guy to go forward or for the enemy team to get restless and go in on this guy. And if you're the one getting engaged on, that's where you react with your ult, your flash, and you go back to your team. And then if they engage on you too hard, let's say they violent into you, you ult into your team, you get the reset, the game is great. Yeah, but, uh, I, I mean, think that's that like generally was... my philosophy, but <laughs> instead, but like the way that's manifested for me is that I, like, that's kind of why I like wait off to the side a lot. Um, right. But like, you know, obviously I'm going to try going forward to be like more with the death ball than, um, than just like off to the side looking for a flank. But yeah, I right. mean, <clears throat> I, I do understand that concept. I guess I just like went, go about it the wrong way. Yeah. That's good. That and I, th I think I think that definitely um, there are definitely angles. Like, like, like the thing about league is there's there's always angles to like say like those situations where what you're doing makes a hundred percent like sense. So what 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 I'm trying to say is like I don't want to take away from what you've been doing. What you've been doing like has obviously worked for you to get you to this elo. It's obviously like done things. So mm -hmm. what what I want you to take away is like become better by making it your own like your own identity of what you see the game as. What's important is you trust the way you see the game and there's no hesitation. The one thing that kills me in my pro games, that kills me in my high low games is when I'm playing against people or playing against like, anyone and I just have hesitation. Just trust whatever you're doing. So you think your silence is inting, you think you're inting, you think anyone's inting, you trust that that's a bad play and you listen to that. Like the, the goal is to build an identity and you you play the way you see the, the game fit. So what I'm saying is your identity has been completely fine. There's always refinements to every identity, but you just need to trust yourself and play the game that way. All right. Yep. But yeah. I mean, that makes a lot of sense. It's It makes perfect sense. Um, yeah. I think this... Yeah, I think this has been very helpful. Um, for sure. Awesome, man. Yeah. Well... I know this was like a two-hour session, so I yeah. really appreciate you taking the time I mean, to do this. Um, I love Diego, so... <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. me too. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, people... I, like, mentioned that we were going to do this, like, a, a few days ago, and people have been super excited, like, across the board. Um, That's awesome, yeah. So, I'm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I really appreciate it. I hope to uh, get some results and uh, say you got me to Challenger, so... Definitely, um, man. I mean, I keep that. me updated with everything. Yeah, like, I, I yeah, well. you know, my DMs are always open. You know, I'll probably be watching more and just for sure, yeah. like, let me know. Let me know how things feel. Let me know if you've been liking the build because yeah, I'll, that's, I'll, that's I'll the, I vouch for this build. So. I'll, I'll do a yeah. few streams with this build no matter what. And if it, <laughs> you know, if I lose yeah, like yeah, 500 I mean, LP, I'll let you know. But you let me know, um, man. I'll, I'll take responsibility. Yeah. Okay, I'll take responsibility. Yeah, okay. All right, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah, good luck with your climb, man. I'll, yeah, I'll take be, care. See you around. Take care, man. All right, all right. Well, that was honestly great. I learned a lot. Um, are you awakened? Enlightened? Honestly, god damn it, I just might be.